middle school is the story of a family who's uh, going through some changes, and um, and uh, my son, the character of Rafe, has had a hard time fitting in, and we're starting a new school, and it's what happens to him and how he handles um, some of the rigidity of his new environment by completely <laughs> going berserk. I'm a single mom. I'm trying to be a chef. I'm not quite there yet. I'm working my way up. And um, again, without giving too much away, the family's recently gone through something. And, and so she's just trying to be strong for her kids. And um, she started dating a questionable person um, named Carl. And um, I think at first he seems like a lot of fun. And then he reveals himself to maybe not be the best match. Rafe is the, uh, sort of a misfit, but um, really he's just very creative and he uh, is kind of being asked to fit into this mold that just doesn't, doesn't match with, who, with him. And um, one of the ways he expresses himself is through his art and um, a cool aspect of the movie that we won't see for a while um, as the actors is some of his drawings come to life because he's new and he's maybe a little bit lonely and so um, his drawings keep him company in a way. He's just a great natural actor. He's, um, he's got a lot of heart and um, kindness just sort of naturally and, um, and he is handsome and like doesn't seem like a misfit but also you can see why maybe he not that handsome people <laughs> can't be misfits I just mean he doesn't you know he's he's a he's a very um kind of grounded kid and um but you can see how maybe he wouldn't fit in in a, in a new in a new environment um I'm just always amazed at you know anybody that age kind of bringing such creativity and and professionalism, you know, to a part, it's really impressive. Georgia is a mouthy little girl um, who uh, is probably, you know, hiding behind her kind of confidence in a way and um, and who's really there for her brother and, and, and going to do what she can to keep this family together and they, the kids see some of the behavior that I don't see in, in Carl, the boyfriend, and so they kind of take it upon themselves to defend me and, um, and, and save, save the family from him. They were the worst years of my life. Um, I think it's a time, just that age is such a transitional time. You're not a little kid but you don't have maybe some of the confidence or some of the freedom that you get um, in high school and you can feel stuck. Also, it's a time when lots of people are maturing at different rates and it can be hard to really feel like you have a community of, of people who are going through what you're going through. It's just awkward. He, um, like all the vet, best directors I've worked with. He just has an ear for when he knows something kind of hits him the right way or uh, something's off, you know, and that's, you just want that in a director to kind of like guide you. But besides that, he's just super funny and fun to be around. And, um, and we just laugh, you know, all day, like, and he has great suggestions. He's very collaborative. And um, I don't know, it's just, it's been, it's been just so much fun. Rob, as a person, is so funny and um, really just fun and throws curveballs everywhere, which is wonderful. And, uh, and we just kind of had a mind meld, like, from the very beginning. And, you know, you can always tell somehow if you kind of work the same way as someone else. And that always just makes it that much more easy and fun.